Hello everybody, welcome back. Tuned in to Zone XP2 and we're doing another Forza Horizon 3 Force Athon. Alright, so the first one we're gonna start on is the Running Wild. I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna do the three playground games to win the Viper SRT HE because I currently have that car. I don't know if I have the Jaguar XJ220 HE though. I don't I don't think I do, but I'm currently driving the 2016 Jaguar F-Type Project 7 Horizon Edition. I don't think those are the same car, no, because you would see the numbers up in the top. Okay, so in the three races, I'm just going to do a championship, and I should be able to get the, um, the speed skills. I'm going to try my hardest. So let me blueprint a race. All right, got the race all blueprinted up. I did put the Goliath on here, um, just so it's, a, it's like a, I only made it one lap though, and then and that way I know I'm getting my speed skills. All right, so probably gonna be not trying to drift, but you know, it's just let me see. I can get speed skills through here. I don't think so. Well, that's just an ongoing drift there that wouldn't stop. I was literally just sliding there. Alright, I should get a speed skill here, hopefully. Oh. But I did catch a wheelie. <laughs> Not really trying to do that. No, no, no. Alright, so this is just going to be a race. I don't really see me getting any speed skills out of this. I might um, put the challenges or the achievements up on the screen, that way y'all can see me getting them. I find that kind of cool and helpful in a way, because then you know you've got it. It's a nice little feature. I don't know how that works exactly on PC, but if you play this on PC, I'd be curious to know, because I can't play this game on PC, I wish PC can't take it. Alright, so I put my achievements up there on the screen, and those are all the ones from this force of Dawn. There's one missing, um, but I can't get four on the screen, so... Wow, that was nice. That's considered a show-off, yeah. Too bad I ain't trying to go for those. I lost it. No way I was keeping that. I like this car. I used to drive it a lot in the beginning of Forza Horizon 3, and I was using it on the Goliath because it does have an XP boost ability, and I was really grinding with this car before I got the Lamborghini. Alright, stop playing around so much. And now I'm gonna. This has nothing to do. With, well, it kind of. It has to do with the channel. Um, if you've noticed the banner, um, you really have to zoom in though on the center part. That is not Forza. Um, my reasons for changing it is I wanted to play this game and has nothing to do with Forza and you know when I was younger I used to play a lot of Need for Speed so it was just something of mine and I actually acquired the game on a game sale and I wanted to play it but I knew I dedicated this channel to Forza only so I just made it racing only and it just kind of opens up like more doors for the channel in a way I guess you could say. My other channel is just mainly everything but racing. So. 
But I do post stuff on there every once in a while that has to do with forces. It's not very often. Oh, that sucked. I had some good points going there. Can't always keep them. So. There is no tune on this thing. It's just going back and forth like that. Some driver, some car. All right, I'll see you at the next one. Okay, I should easily get the speed skills here on this one. And I should get two of them, most or less. More or less. I just can't be playing around a whole lot. I gotta be, I gotta play serious. Pretend it's a, it's a race, not a drift event. You really could have done this at anything, but since it said three races and a Jaguar, I figured I'd go ahead and use a Jaguar for everything. Oh, this is not going to be good. Nope. It's good for points. It's not good for what we're trying to do, though. Hopefully I make it up this without hitting the wall. So I'm not going fast enough. Yeah, I'm gonna, okay. Little worried there. Alright, this is the one that's going to... Really not trying to drift here, just trying to get traction. But as you can see, that's not really working out. If I was in the Zonda, I wouldn't be having any issues right now because the Zonda is a beast. I'll stay low. know if anybody can actually make that turn after hitting that speed boost because you're going so fast and there's like a corner there. Even in the Zonda and some of the other cars I actually had to slow down for it so. I mean you could probably drift around it but I don't know. I'm sure there's some people out there that can make that turn without even having to try. Not me. Not that good. Get another speed skill soon. Great speed. I think it's an awesome speed, speed skill. I don't know, one of them is sitting right there at the top though, so. I'm assuming that is the one for the speed. And I'm kind of watching it move. There's the one. Lost my points. It's fine. Okay, then. All right, I, I saved y'all the trouble of watching me do that whole race. All right, so that should be um that one because that was three races. I should get a little bit of XP for that, apparently. Yeah, it was only 51,000. Fresh, something more. Alright. Alright, we're doing the bucket list that ends in the rainforest. I actually went over here to a community one and um, just blueprinted my own, and I just put the end right there. So, alright, let's do this now. Should get it. I have a long time. Should only have to do it once, I'm thinking. And I'm currently driving the car that you win, which I already did have it. I, I did not think I did, but I did. I have so many Horizon Edition cars, some of them are hard to remember. I think I have every single one except for... There's only one I don't have, and there's only one person in the world that has it, actually. And it is a um, Mini Cooper. And... Uh, who has that uh, Don Joan song? I said his name correctly there. He's an amazing driver as well. I watch him because I just wish I could drive like that. That's, he's crazy. 
does some amazing stuff. Alright. That should maybe not uh, give it to me. Okay. Alright, so there's only would you like to attempt it? No. Alright. Here we are. Last game of infected online. And this is my third one. So as soon as this one ends, I should get the achievement for the um, Viper SRT-10, and I think it was like $120,000. Alright, see if we can catch this guy. It's running good. Good job, but I'm not getting caught. This usually, I can usually not play online due to, um, I can't ever find a game. The first. Alright, awesome. And that should be the Party Animals Force Athon. Achievement. Should be. Cause that was three. There we go. All right, go in the garage. Look at the new cars. All right, so this is the Dodge Viper. Um, that's what it looks like stock, and then. That's what mine looks like. It's just the wings room, but it's X-Class now. So it's not and there's the Jaguar, which is speed skills boost, and the other one was the credits boost. Yeah, the, Jag the, the, the Viper was the credits boost. I like the Viper out of both, really, because, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's a good look at that Jaguar's a good-looking car, but I don't know, that Viper's just mean. It's fast. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. And if you enjoy watching Forzathon on the channel, subscribe. And I hope to catch you all on the next one. Y'all have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.